In this part seven of the series, we're going to troubleshoot a computer not turning on or a PC which turns on but no display on the monitor with LED lights on and fans spinning. So today we're looking at the various cables and connectors of a desktop computer which you can troubleshoot and fix. Coming up, roll the intro. Hilim Tags and welcome, this is Ash from Hilim I Tech helping you go from newbie to techie. On this channel we do reviews, repairs and tutorials of tech so if you're new here consider subscribing and enable the bell icon notification for future videos and everyone smash that like button if you want to see further tutorials like this one. We're not sponsored but please consider using my Amazon affiliate link to help the channel and stay till the end of the video because I've got some special announcement to make. So today we're continuing our troubleshoot series. Now up until we reach parts 9 and 10 uh, we're not going to be concerned about the hard drive and the operating system. We are still up until now only concerned about those aspects of the computer turning on sequence which will allow for a successful post. This is why we haven't hooked up a hard drive to this computer just yet. Now if post doesn't sound familiar to you then you need to go back and watch my six previous videos including the introduction so there's going to be a link uh, somewhere there and in the description below because we're going to refer to some of those uh, troubleshoot aspects for the explanation in this video and we're also assuming that all the other components are working because today we're only troubleshooting the cables and connectors all right now come over let me show you my system We've got a power supply from Corsair VS450. This is non-modular. We have a all motherboard from Intel. This is the 775 socket and it's got an Intel Q6600 for the CPU, an aftermarket cooler from Arctic Freezer Pro and a couple of sticks of RAM totaling 4 gigabyte DDR2. We've also got a graphics card from AMD Radeon HD 6870 and there is no disconnector this uh, DVD drive is not connected there is no hard drive okay right and that's kind of simple and basic we haven't even connected a keyboard and a mouse because we're only interested in the post um, we're not interested in booting up today someone can correct me but in terms of cables I believe there are a minimum of seven standard cables which are responsible to turn a computer on for a successful post so at the back obviously the first one is your main power cable or kettle cable or kettle lead that comes in from the mains and plugs into your power supply then you have your video connection which in this case is a VGA but it could be HDMI or DVI or a display port whatever you have and that connects to your monitor so number three we have a CPU uh, 4 pin or 8 pin in some cases connector that connects into the plug of the motherboard number four in some cases we also have the main CPU cooler fan plug usually a 3 pin or a 4 pin number five we have the main 20 or 24 pin main motherboard connector okay comes straight from the power supply and plugs in there Number six, we have the GPU pins from the, again, power supply. It could be six, it could be 12, it could be, um, I don't know, other configurations, right? And last but not least, number seven, and down here you probably can't see, but you've got the front panel connector, especially the one for the power switch. There are others, but they're not important in terms of turning the computer on, although they have their own function, okay? Okay, currently what I've got this monitor connected is to this uh, test uh, desktop and just had the beep because it's posting and another desktop computer. So we're going to switch input to go to the test one, which is the D sub. Okay. And because we don't have a disk drive with an operating system on there, you're going to get this kind of message, reboot and select proper boot device or inside boot media, in selected uh, boot device and press a key. And this is something we're going to talk about when we do part number 9 and 10 in more detail. This is a huge troubleshoot issue that I get asked questions about all the time. So that's coming up. Okay. Right, so if you heard the first beep, this is the post beep, and then the second uh, set was because there was no boot drive. Right, so I'm going to show you, um, real, we're not going to edit this part, I'm going to show you in one shot what happens when you unplug uh, or one of the cables is missing, the ones, one of the seven ones which are necessary to uh, post the system, right? So we've done the cable, obviously you know if that cable is dodgy or missing or even not even plugged in or turned on, then you will not get any power on your 
uh, motherboard there will be no LED, LED light no fan spinning okay right so we've done that dusted this is connected to the power supply advanced tutorial and go watch that up there somewhere right so number two the VGA or video cable in our case we've got VGA yours could be HDMI or whatever um, obviously if it's not plugged in correctly number one then you're gonna have no display so if your computer is turned on it's posted and but you see no display now it could be your plug that's not working it could be the plug is corrected in the wrong port yes because on some motherboards they will have an onboard VGA we've shown this sorry an onboard video input so your cable could be plugged in the wrong it could be plugged into the GPU or the um, onboard graphics port and your BIOS setting could be set to a different um, priority for the video graphics so please do check that it could also mean there's a problem with monitor but that's for another uh, tutorial which we're going to talk about in I think next part which is part 8 right so just make sure your cable is working fine and the best way to test obviously you can use multimeters for advanced but the best way to test is to get a replacement the DVD sorry VGA cable or HDMI or um, DVI whatever you're using okay uh, also if you have a graphics card with more than one type of video inputs then get a different type of video cable and test uh, hopefully your monitor will also support that so that was number two okay number three now the four pin CPU in our case in some cases eight pin I'm gonna switch that off do remind me to put that back on because I'll forget what happens if your four pin CPU is either not connected properly or that cable is actually not working we have a non modular power supply but for modular power supply the individual cables will be connected from the PSU to various components on the motherboard and the peripherals etc the other component sorry so obviously you'd have to uh, swap it with a known working one um, again there's an advanced test using a multimeter but it's not for this tutorial right and you probably know I've done a video uh, on something called like monitor turns on no display stupid mistake easy fix uh, some people still think it's not possible to plug this in the wrong orientation it is possible it is stupid and I've done it twice but it's possible and uh, obviously it won't uh, fit in perfectly but you can still do it um, don't try it just for that sake I'll put the link for that video you can go watch it and we've also discussed it in our troubleshoot when it came to um, part number for the CPU which have a part number three again up there right so I'm gonna leave this off so we're gonna pretend either this is not connected or this is not connected properly or um, this is dodgy like we need to be swapped right turn the power back on there and with this off we are going to turn the power button and you are getting fan spinning because the power supply is delivering a power to the motherboard but you will not hear a beep why because the CPU you know plug is not connected could be here all day so nothing on the display we're off that how are we doing so far guys oh internet i hate doing this one go because some people will accuse me of tricking or or lying or nonsense right let's move on back on where are we fan uh, cpu fan plug three pin oops or four pin in some cases i'm gonna off that um i think in this motherboard even if it's not connected it will still boot up you'll have a beep so i'm gonna turn this on just to show you on some motherboards and depends on the bio setting it is possible that if you have the there you go a beep you should see a display if you have the um, CPU fan plug not connected or the fan is not working you may get a warning and you may get um, some sort of beep code again I've troubleshot this as well um, it's a different um, video to the series link up there and below as you can see we've got display but the fan on the CPU cooler is not turning right now okay but that sh you should still allow you to boot up all it means is depending on your setting if your uh, processor heats up be beyond a threshold and it probably will switch off or give you a beeping warning okay so do check that I'm gonna off that and plug that fan pin in there again because I don't want to cause a problem okay so was that one two three four okay number five oops 
I just whacked my camera. <laughs> so you're probably going to see a, a, sh a shaky footage. Number five, the main 24 motherboard pin connection. We're assuming it's either disconnected or not working. Let's turn this boy back up. Now this time, although the power supply is on, and press the power button, but there is not even LED light. I um, don't know if you can see it on there. Um, I'm going to move this forward. You probably can see up there. There is nothing happening because there's no power being delivered to the board at all, okay? So that's what would happen if you your 24 pin is not properly connected or not even connected or not working. Again, test. Uh, I've done an advanced test on a power supply with a multimeter, testing each of the voltage. You have uh, uh, three, five, and 12 volts on various colors. So go watch that video up there and down below somewhere. Right, what about now, number six, we have the GPU. Let's pretend the GPU cable is not connected or not working. So we off that and we turn it back on. Now it will show you sounds all live, which means LED light and fan spinning on the CPU fan spinning on the power supply and even fan spinning on the um, GPU but because this is not connected guess what no display will happen it will not post and again in cases where motherboards have onboard graphics it will probably post we've done that test go watch the troubleshoot on the um, graphics uh, uh, card uh, troubleshoot uh, link up there and down below somehow okay right so of that and we are going to put that back in there. Last but not least, this is a troublesome one. And uh, I don't know if I can actually show you because I've got my keyboard here. Let me just move my keyboard because my keyboard is being a bit silly. Right, hopefully you can see that now. Um, last but not least, part number seven, these various front panel connectors. They are a nightmare for um, new people who are trying to build computer for the first time. We've covered this on our motherboard series. Please excuse, I'm not farting, it's my chair, it's cracking. I need a new chair. So I'm now gonna unplug the two pin power supply switch or power switch button which is connected to the front button. And this is the only one that matters in terms of booting up your computer. There are normally uh, on average four of these which connects to your pins on the motherboard and connect to the front panel but the others are for like HDD one is for a reset switch and the last one I can't uh, oh I think it's for speaker or whatever the heck it is um, but I can't for the life of me um, remember if there's any others right now and one for the disk drive I think okay let's turn it back on now so obviously this time you will get LED light on the board because you've got power coming in but pressing the button nothing's going to happen yeah and we've showed you again how to turn on a motherboard without a power switch so use something metallic but at the end make sure there is a you know some sort of non metallic non conductor you can bridge the connection between the positive and negative pins on the board again reference tutorial up there and down here and that's kind of that that's the end of it uh, in terms of troubleshooting these cable issues so in the next part eight we will tackle issues with the display or monitor so hit that like button and subscribe to stay informed remember also to look out for the playlist or for any parts of this troubleshoot series in the description now for the special announcements there are two of them first is the massive auto desktop pc restoration project which i want to carry out i talk about it in that mystery unboxing video from two days ago so go check it out if i can secure some funds or the parts to upgrade these older pcs someone deserving can benefit from them it could be a subscriber here or a supporter of my upcoming patreon account or someone that you guys can nominate who really needs it so consider contributing to this project by donating to the paypal link paypal.me forward slash heal my tech and number two is the a to z computer build which i want to focus on from next year as a unique continuous series starting with inviting you to a live stream where we will pick out the next build together more details in yesterday's live rent video so go check that out too thank you so much for watching you know what to do down below and check out my other videos on the channel
channel. As always, it's been a pleasure. This was Ash from Heal My Tech, helping you go from newbie to techie. Until next time, peace out. Oh, <laughs>